shoot the shoot is definitely an episode. It's balls. It's balls. Now you can hear the new sound effect that I just put on my soundboard. You look disappointed. I look disappointed? I think that's just my face. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my podcast. This is my podcast, not yours, okay? You can't have it. Get your friggin' get your mitts off of it. Get your filthy mitts off of it. Stinky hands, dirty, poopy hands. You rub, you wiping your butt with your hands. Don't wash your hands. You wipe your butt, and you come and you try to touch my podcast. No, no, not today, not today. Okay, uh, it's this is episode two hundred and twenty-three, I believe. Um, I do declare it's episode two twenty-three. And we have got some friggin' crap to discuss this week, dude. We got a loaded episode for y'all. Uh, first off, I want to shout out to the Patreon. Uh, we had a, we had a, dude, we had a, hold on. We had a ton of new people join the Patreon last week. Oh, good. Uh, we talked about the Colleen Ballinger, um, ukulele apology video there's an update on that as well a pretty crazy one we'll get into that in a second um but yo shout out to everyone who joined the patreon last week shout out to the the day ones shout out to the people who joined a couple weeks shout out to everybody on the patreon appreciate y'all for supporting the podcast you know um there's a lot of fun and i love doing this every week man it's it's a fucking blast so i appreciate you guys are fucking with it uh thanks for showing the love on the episode last week with danny and drew that one was a lot of fun um yeah, it was silly, dude. I, uh, that's like I got to watch my favorite, one of my favorite YouTube videos with my my two favorite guys, um, two you know, two some two of one of my favorite videos with two of two of my favorite two of my favorite guys. I have a lot of favorite guys, yeah. So they're up there. That makes sense. Um, also, yo, if you guys missed it on my Instagram. Twitter and shit. Um, I just released, or not released, I guess opened, created the Curtis Connor World. It just, it's a, click the link in the description, check it out. It's kind of tough to just explain, dude. We pretty much built a virtual Curtis town where people can like, you can make a, an avatar for yourself. You can only walk or It's kind of like, it's kind of like Club Penguin or like Habbo Hotel. That's like what people have been comparing it to. But but just for Curtis Town, man. Uh, there's boards. There's chat room. Um, it, it's it's really fun. It's a cool space for everyone to sort of uh, congregate. And um, yeah, man, it's it's been fun uh, checking the boards and stuff and looking at everyone's memes. Everyone's like, it's 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 really it's really fun. And a lot of funny people are doing a lot of crazy shit in there. There was like a people trying to replace me. As the mayor, uh, but that's not going to happen because I am the mayor. But but yeah, you can check that out. Link in the description. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, dude, <laughs> fucking what I've been what I've been up to, man. I went to I went to Chicago on the weekend. Um, that was fun. I saw uh, Danny and Laura and Drew and Amanda. That was fun. It was a nice little weekend trip. Um. But dude, I got bad news, man. I'm a, I'm addicted to a show, a, re, a show that is that I'm not proud to be addicted to. Okay, and it's called Vanderpump Rules, and I can't stop watching it. Okay, Jenna started watching it, and then I was like, you know, here and there I'd watch an episode or two. You know, when she's watching it, I'm just curious. You know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm like, this is this ain't for me. You know, um, um, where's Spider Man? That's <laughs> that's me. That's me when I watch it, when I'm walking past when I'm watching a show that my friggin' wife is watching. I'm like, um, excuse me. Where's Peter Parker? And where's a gun? And a car going so fast? Or, you know, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, and I'm just, I'm just not into reality shows, dude. I'm really not. Um, but, dude, I got hooked, all right? And we're in, like, we're deep, man. We're, like, season three now, dude, and shit is crazy. It sucks because I, like, I watched the most recent season first, and then I'm going back and watching it, so I know how shit kind of ends, which is crazy. Um, but, yeah, I'm addicted to that shit, dude. 
Um, dude, I'm also here like so much earlier than I usually am. I'm usually here after working hours, like 7 p.m., but it's 4.30 right now, so people are still here working, and I'm talking loud. <laughs> so, sorry. Pod, pod's got, pod, guy's got a pod, okay? Hey, if podcasting is a crime, fucking lock me up, throw away the key. Um, what else about, dude, also the other thing I wanted to say, this is, dude, I'm like, this is growth. This is character growth, man. I'm watching reality TV and I've got something crazy to say. Okay. I watched a movie that featured MGK as one of the actors. He was acting in this movie. Okay. MGK was an actor in this movie and you guys know my opinion on MGK. All right. We've roasted him heavily on this podcast. Um, but it, he did a really good job in the movie. Okay? I finally watched The Dirt, the Motley Crue biopic, which is crazy that I waited this long because I fucking love Motley Crue. Um, I just like, maybe it was the MGK that was putting me off, but I was like, I, I was like, fuck it. I'll just watch it and see how it is. And MGK was good in it. He was kind of funny. He played his character pretty well. It sucked. But the movie was really good. So, I just wanted to do some character growth there. Um, you should watch the movie. It was really, it was really good. Um, all right. That's enough of my fucking life. Nothing else has been going on, really. I got a video coming out this week. I don't know. Um, <laughs> laptop time. This is the part where I just play The Sims and don't record my screen and sit in silence for 45 minutes. Just kidding. That'd be fucking crazy. All right. So, should we do... No, nah, I mean, let's change the subject. Let's get this... Uh, People are talking really loud. I feel bad. But also, don't care. Toxic gossip train. Okay, so if you remember from the, the bonus episode, um, if you haven't joined the, the, the if you haven't watched the bonus episode, you you gotta check out the Patreon, man. Patreon.com slash very really good, but um we talk, We went through the whole apology thing. It was fucking. It was rough. It was a rough go. Um, but I think I'm. I'm pretty sure I made a joke about um, her putting this on like Spotify or Apple Music, so I could like. So if I'm in like in an Uber or at like a party, someone hands me the ox cord. I'm like, yo, pass me the ox, bro. Sauce me that ox right quick. Sauce me the ox, thank you. And then I'll just bump toxic gossip train. <sighs> Excuse me. Do you think they've made like a trap remix? Yeah. Toxic Gossip Train Remix. Dubstep Remix. Dude, I got to listen to this. All aboard. All of, all of, all of. All aboard. All of. That sounds like shit. Um, okay. Well, there's um, a development. Okay, there's a development in the story in the Colleen Ballinger apology video. Um, really quick breakdown. If you've been living under a rock, if, you got, if you're a legit bug, if you're a legit centipede, listen to this podcast, living under a rock, dude. Too many legs, not enough ears. Okay? Listen to the podcast. You centipede. But Colleen Ballinger, under, you know, a bunch of allegations and stuff and, like, proof that she was, like, a real creep towards uh, minors. And uh, people were calling her out on it and shit. So, and she's been silent for a while. Um, And then, (laughs) and then she came out, like, last week, two weeks ago with uh, an apology video where she just, like, sang a song and it was like pretty much just like gaslighting and 
making everyone else feel bad and pretty much absolving her of any uh, uh, guilt. Or she thought she that was going to do that, but it didn't at all. And everyone's been clowning on her. And dude, apparently, not apparently, this is like true, but Colleen Ballinger put her song on Apple Music so she can like copyright claim videos that use it. Which is wild. It's on iTunes, dude. Hold on. How do I... Is this iTunes? Does iTunes even fucking exist anymore? (laughs) Dude, I have no idea. No, that's radio. Browse. Can I search on here or what, dude? Oh, okay. Colleen Ballinger. Oh, did she take it down? Come on, it's got to be this. Damn, maybe she took it down. Hold on. How do you you use iTunes? Let me... Can I ask that question? Do I have it? No, I don't fucking have it. (laughs) Okay, well, there's a picture. And it says... Colleen Ballinger, Toxic Gossip Train. It should still show up, though, right? Okay, well, there's a song, Toxic Gossip Train, by Lord Pumpkin Pussy. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's not that's not real. That's not real. But this one says Colleen Ballinger. Hmm. Well, regardless, I saw that uh, H3 um, got their podcast claim for playing it, which is insane. Colleen Ballinger uploaded Toxic Gossip Train to CD Baby and is claiming us. That's what, that's what Ethan Klein said. CD Baby. That's a... Of course you had to pick that one, Colleen. <laughs> you know, of course you had to pick CD baby, you creep. You groomer. <laughs> Let's pick CD baby because I want to see these babies. That's what Colleen, that's, <laughs> that was her, that was her thought process. Oh, CD baby. I love seeing these babies. And honestly, dude, that is a uh, bold move. That is a bold move to do that, Colleen. So, yeah, I guess, like, a one, like, one galaxy brain move for, like, the worst reasons, in the most evil way possible. Like, that is, like, villain behavior. That is, like, that's, like, Doc Ock level shit. That's Joker stuff right there, dude. You want to know how I got this ukulele? I bought it at the White Millennial store. It's not, it's not about apologizing. It's about it's about registering a song on CD baby. <laughs> yeah, Colleen for Joker 2024, okay? <laughs> That's actually, that's like, there's a part of me where I'm like, I'm hoping that like someone is like using the Colleen Ballinger name and registering it and then maybe claiming it like, which is fraud. So I'm hoping this is fraudulent, but I don't know, man. If you're crazy enough to do a ukulele apology, you're probably crazy enough to register it as like a a song so you could copyright claim and make more money from your, you know, uh, you know, monetize their demise, as you said, Colleen. Your victims is is what I mean. But uh, fucking crazy, dude.
Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll stay. We'll keep. We'll keep you posted there. I think the other, the only other update for we're calling was co- with <laughs> with Colleen was that she canceled all of her uh, shows, which is a shame because her live shows look so funny. She's so funny. I love when she did that like TikTok mashup on stage to dance. It was so funny. Oh, uh, she's funny as hell. It's crazy how fucking joke she is. Um. And then the other thing I didn't talk about was like the video of her doing blackface came out, but apparently it was green face, which is the only thing that her team responded to. <laughs> that was the only thing her team came out and were like disputed. They're like, okay, yeah, she's weird as fuck. All the other shit is true. She definitely groomed children. But that was green face. That wasn't blackface, okay? That's like the only thing that the team was like, okay, finally we can dispute this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. But yeah, she's a weirdo, dude. She sucks. She's a psycho. And um It's fuck Col- it's fuck Colleen around these parts. <laughs> Fucking went with the small iced coffee today. Thanks, guys. Um you know, try not to have so much caffeine. Also, dude, my fucking what's this happened with my last phone too. I don't know if it's just dirty, but I can't charge it anymore through like the butt through like the little butthole. Like the iPhone butthole. Like where the charger goes. Or is it the pussy? I don't know. The eye pussy. The iPhone pussy. I don't know what it is. The charger. It's like fucked. It goes in there, it starts charging for a second, and then it stops. Um so I have to like position it perfectly on like the most the most fucking obtuse angle for it to charge, even for like 5%. And then it's like, you know what? That's it. I'm pulling out. Uh, so that's cool. I had to buy, I had to use like this old, old fun, this fucking other one where I put it on. I don't know. It, does, it doesn't matter, man. <laughs> Worst podcast ever, dude. You guys want to my phone stop working? My fucking phone stop working, man. Isn't that shitty? Isn't my life the fucking worst? Christ. Uh, what are we at, dude? Like 15? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave that for the end. Um, there's been some pretty... Dude, again. Again with this shit. Guys, I'm gonna talk about Ghost Story, okay? Because, listen, again, I'm a trendsetter, all right? I lead, the herd follows, okay? I'm sort of like, I'm I'm him, okay? I post a video about Ghost Story fucking three years ago. You know. I I introduced the world to Ghost Story, and it's, it's a nice little, like, niche reference within, you know, people from the Czech Republic and then also uh, people in Curtis town. And it's, you know, it's great. It's our, it's like our little secret, you know, Curtis town and Czech Republic. We have like an alliance formed in that way. And then out of nowhere, goat story gets this fucking resurgence on Twitter. And everyone in 2023 is like, what, what is this movie? Oh my god, what is this movie? What's this about? Who, who's this goat and this girl with big boobs? Oh, we've been there. We saw that shit three years ago. Okay, let me tell you a story. A goat story, if you will. Three years ago. Years thrice ago. It's bullshit. So people are making edits of... Of Katie and stuff, you know, they're they're idolizing Katie as like this this you know queen, you know she's serving, which she is. I'll, I'll say that. I don't think that's crazy to say that she's serving. Okay, she's serving. I don't think that's crazy to say that. I don't think that's crazy to say that she is serving. She's serving, dude. That sounds like if that's not a fucking TikTok sound, I don't know what it is. Okay, somebody clip that shit, make a TikTok about it. You know, you put on like a cool outfit, right? You can be like, okay, she's serving. Okay, okay. 
All right, it's official, everybody. She's serving. That's not crazy to say that she's serving. But Katie is serving, okay? Um, okay, so I'm going to read this article. Goat Story Explained, How a Busty CGI Farm Girl Became a Viral Meme. You know what that should... She dates back over a decade to an obscure Czech movie. And also, Curtis Connor, the epic YouTuber, made a video about this. I'm going to read this, okay? If you scroll through social media this summer, you might have come across Katie, a buxom... Hey, man, what's that word? Buxom? The fuck? Buxom. How do you say that? Buxom. 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 Okay. What's the British pronunciation? Buxom. <laughs> Buxom. 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 So, yeah, buxom means uh, large breasts. God, like, journalists, put the thesaurus down. Right normal, okay? Uh, Katie, a buxom, a buxom blonde, computer animated character with large eyes and a facial bone structure reminiscent of handsome Squidward. Okay, I wouldn't go that far, but she's been catapulted to sudden meme status, which makes her origin story that much funnier. Katie was first introduced to the world in 2008 in the animated Czech film Goat Story, the old Prague legends, movie is set in early 1400s. We fucking know, Okay. Okay, the character's visage has recently become ubiquitous across social platforms with people using multiple clips of the film in a series of absurd situations. Me sneaking food out into the movie theater and it's and it's and it's Katie taking a fucking cabbage out of her out of her buxom bosom. Is that is that what Is that what that means? Bosoms, is that breasts? Nice, my internet's not working. Uh, come on, man. I'm just trying to see what bosoms means. All right, whatever. We'll wait for that to load. Katie from Ghost Story has climbed the number one on this week's Stan Twitter memes Hot 100 chart. And <laughs> new peak more than a year after her debut on the timeline. Uh, director and writer Jan Tominick. The director and writer actually... Uh, I don't know if you missed this, but he actually wrote... He actually commented on my ghost story video, the original one. And he was like, why are you fucking mad that, uh, that we showed Katie naked? That's normal. Everyone's naked. It's fine. You people in America are fucked. I'm paraphrasing like crazy. He didn't say that. Um, and I think I responded. I was like, I'm Canadian. Something fucking stupid and not funny. Hey man, I'm trying to show this TikTok of the podcast. Okay, director and writer Jan Tumminick spoke to The Hollywood Reporter following his character's viral social media takeover. He revealed that Katie was modeled after Chick's idea of what a proper country girl should look like, mentioning the term blood and milk. As a representation, as a representation of rosy cheeks and glowing skin. When it comes to her generous chest, Tumminick still doesn't see an issue. <laughs> Hey, yeah. It's interesting how a lot of people have a problem with the stylization that a character has big breasts. But with an animated character, character traits need to be exaggerated, he explained. It's hypocrisy. A big nose isn't a problem, but big boobs often offend some people. Big boobs offend some people. Okay. Yeah, that's true, man. Where's the where's the Pixar character with a huge fucking hog? Uh, an absolutely girthy penis. You know, where's like the Pixar dad with a fucking hammer in his pants, an absolute python down there, dude. And you could see it. All right. We need that, dude. They need to be exaggerated. What? Some things need to be exaggerated. That's fine. Like that dad from a, what's that fucking movie? Inside Out or whatever. The dad. Huge nuts, imagine. 
massive fucking nuts. He's bouncing on like an exercise ball. What? You show that, like the Pixar meeting is like, yeah, so this is our first draft for the dad character. He's just bouncing up and down on this huge nut sack. And they're like, hey, why? What's that? It's like, oh, sorry. Oh, I thought we were making an animated film here. Some body parts need to be exaggerated. He has huge balls. That's fine. Get over it. It's as, as important to his character. He's huge, huge dick and balls. His name is Dick Balls. <laughs> Richard Balls is his, his real name, but he goes by Dick Balls. Um, hey, what is happening on his website, man? Half of it is gray. Cool. Okay, are we connected now? Are we fucking... Are we working? Cool. Um, he goes on to say that uh, almost every American animated kids movie has some violence, people fighting. He noted, there's not a speck of violence in Ghost Story. False. That is unequivocally false. There's, there is violence. To be that confident to be like, there's not a speck of violence. In the first five seconds, a, a, a knight tries to murder a little boy, a little baby. There's a lot, actually. Uh, and yet, because of the big breasts, which are natural, she's au natural, all right? No implants. She's a natural queen. It got a PG-13 rating. Yet, violence doesn't matter in America. Um, okay, when it comes to Katie's newfound fame, Tom and Nick is, I'm so sorry, I'm not pronounced that right, I know, is indifferent and believes it to be a U.S. trend. This doesn't happen here in the Czech Republic. It's more of a YouTube fad in America. Some YouTuber made a, some YouTuber makes a meme out of something and others ride the wave. It's kind of a fad. It's nice, but it leaves me completely cold. Was that me? Am I some YouTuber? <gasps> oh yeah. I got the shout out. I don't know if that's about me, but I'm going to take it, okay? But yo, I'm going to put some respect on his name for calling it like it is. Some YouTuber makes a meme out of something and others ride the wave. I made the meme first, and all you other people are just riding the wave, riding my coattails. Eating my fucking dust. I'm sorry that leaves him cold, though. I feel pretty bad about that. It leaves me completely cold. As for the future of the Goat Story universe, Tolmanyek offered never say never. He's more focused on writing books these days, which he says affords him much more freedom and satisfaction. But he didn't close the door on a possible Goat Story 3, potentially done in partnership with his art-oriented kids. <gasps> Let's fucking go, dude. What books is he writing? Oh, fuck. Oh, here's that TikTok. Fuck. Well, now it's not loading. And it's not working. <laughs> fucking. Yes. Bosoms are breasts. Okay, now we know. Um... Dude, I would love a Ghost Story 3. If we got a complete trilogy, what would the plot of that be? Dude, Ghost Story 3 would have to be about, like... It had to be centered more around Goat. Maybe Goat finds a goat. Like, oh, maybe Goat finds... Okay, listen. Maybe Goat finds uh, another goat. Um, and, like, a goat... Fa- maybe, like, Goat's original family. And Goat is, like, torn between, like... You know, staying with Jemmy and uh, and Katie and the kids, right? They're, they're a little older now, right? Goats are getting a little older too. Um, and then, like, this goat, the original goat family, like, brothers and sisters, mom and dad and stuff, they show up and they're like, hey, you, you can come. We've been looking for you all this time. You can come live with us. And then it's like this whole thing where it's like, well, do I pick my my original goat family or my, my, my chosen family, right? Or... uh 
And, you know, it can go into how Jemmy and Goat had this, like, uh, you know, will they, won't they type thing, how Jemmy was pretty rude to Goat. Um, dude, there you go. I don't even need a producer credit. Have that plot. That sounds awesome. Okay. Um, I want to talk about one more thing today, I think. That's all we have time for. Um, so let's change the subject real quick. Oh. I didn't mean that quick. Okay, so the last couple of years, I think um, there's been a rise of uh, these um, people called VTubers. Have you heard of them? VTuber. Um, the Wikipedia definition is a VTuber or a virtual YouTuber is an online entertainer who uses a virtual avatar generated using computer graphics, Real-time motion capture software or technology are often, but not always, used to capture movement. So it's a way that you can sort of appear online and make videos um, and have a video component, a component of yourself, but without actually showing your real face. Um, And I can see the benefits of that. You know, a lot of people want to stay uh, anonymous. They don't want to show their real face, but they still want to create content. I totally understand that. Um, You know, because showing your face and your and people and your body, people can comment on that and say whatever they want, and it's fucking annoying. Uh, but that's just that's just the way it goes. Um, but it's I saw there's been a recent video going around TikTok that I've seen uh, that I wanted to talk about because it's the fascinating part of VTubing that I haven't even thought of because to me it's so contained to like an internet experience, right? Like. But with YouTubers, there's like VidCon or, you know, if I do a show, you know, people go to the show. It's like a real live event, right, where you can see and watch a show or, you know, meet. You know, it's like a thing, you know, you're in person. But apparently some VTubers are doing like live shows and they're not showing themselves. They're just like, like, and not even a hologram, dude. There's, like, concerts and, like, panels and shit and shows. What's the fucking one? Uh, it was, like, VTubers. Uh, VTuber convention. And dude, is this the video? Would you say that pineapple on a pizza is a delicacy or is it a crime against God? Oh, my God. Get, get him out of here. Dude. Here. You let this person Arrest okay? this man. But right, pineapple too. and pizza is kind of good. Dude. So if you guys are listening to the audio, the two girls that were talking were like anime on the, on a screen. And this guy in the audience asked a question. That pineapple on a pizza is a delicacy or is it a crime against God? Oh my God, get get him out of here. You let this person Arrest okay? this man. But right, pineapple too. and pizza is kind of good. Okay, so that, so there's a, like a VTuber Q&A, God, I think I'm getting too old for this, man, saying VTuber, saying, saying the, the, the two words VTuber Q&A beside each other as like a 29 year old sucks. sucks. (laughs) sucks <laughs> fucking sucks man um but like that's fun like i feel like that makes sense it's that's like as live as you can get right because their response it's call and response for like a q a but there's like a a video going around the past few weeks of like a concert from my understanding this was this took place in thailand it was like a vtuber convention uh and Fucking, dude, I gotta... Okay, AR, ARP? ARP. Algorithm project? The project gathers virtual YouTubers all around with diverse capacities and characters together. Together, the project emphasizes entertainment via live streaming. Okay, so it's a... Dude, it's a musical artist. Uh, 
Oh, so it's a group. Yo. It's a group of, like, anime artists. Music. Okay. But this is the, 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 the concert at CAF 2023. What is that? Uh, 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. I don't know if that's... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's that. Okay, Um. well, let's just play the video. Um. Dude, like it's a it's a video, man. This is the thing that I don't and listen. I'm not trying to be like, I'm not trying to like take you know make fun of people for enjoying shit. If this is your thing, fucking cool. But like, you gotta understand how like you gotta understand when people take the piss out of it, right? Like I. And we all have those things, right? I like fucking, you know, I like Pokemon cars and shit. People make fun of that. I get it. It makes sense. Lame as hell. But I still like it, right? But this is a video. You're watching a video and you're like screaming when he comes on screen. When he appears on screen, you're like, he's right there. Yo, look, dude, dude, I'm right here. You're like holding up a sign and shit. (laughs) They can't see you. It's a screen, dude. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll skip forward a little bit. It's also like not, dude. It's like not animated well. It's like, uh, could you imagine if fucking Justin Bieber did that on stage? He'd get booed off the stage. I'm gonna tell you one time. I'm going to tell you one time. I'm going to tell you one time. Dude. But, dude, it gets crazier. So he's, like, singing his song. Everyone's losing their fucking mind. But it's like the a big reveal is coming, okay? A huge reveal, like in like a like a drag performance, like a drag lip sync. You need a big reveal, right? Um, and dude, people lose their fucking minds. Let's watch it. It's coming. Okay, so the you know the VTuber showed his his eyeballs, and then people uh, in the crowd lost their minds. Um, but when I show my balls, I get fucking arrested. After I show my balls on stage, I'm getting fucking thrown in a cop car. Okay, fucking double standard, man. Uh, so yeah, that's the video I wanted to talk about because it's like, what is the? I'm trying to think of like what the like what what do you get out of this like is this if this is like a performance never seen any a video never seen anywhere else false because it's right there you can yeah i can watch it i've seen it also um and like it's so crazy because the vtuber doesn't look like this because you know how humans don't look like anime people um, because it's like a cartoon, just like how you know the people don't look like they have a, a big bouncy ball sack that they bounce up and down on, right? It's just like it's, it's animated, it's exaggerated, right? So it's like the person who is behind this VTuber, who knows? It could be me, man. 
I could be this person and you'd never know. It's the same thing as like the fucking, when they imagine Dream to be this like swoopy haired, like e-boy type guy. And then he fucking showed what he actually looked like. And everyone's like, what? You don't look like how I thought you looked. That's fucked up of you to do that. Fuck you. You're ugly. Like it's the same shit. I'm just still trying to figure out what is like. When someone sees like a, sorry, when someone sees like a, (laughs) like when someone, like if you're a fan of VTubers, if you're like walking down the street and someone has them on like their phone case or something, would you scream then? Like when do you, when's the appropriate time to get hyped to see them, right? Because this is the same as watching a video at home, is it not? I guess there's like the, I'm I'm just trying, I'm just starting to like think out loud here, but it's like I guess you know there is there's stuff to say about you know you know maybe watching the Rocky Horror Picture Show at home is it, obviously it's different from watching that in a packed theater with people. It's more like an experience. Maybe that's it. But apparently tickets to this thing were like three hundred bucks to this like to this convention. Maybe I'm just jealous. Maybe that's it. Because I can't do this. I have to I have to actually go up on stage and like write. I have to like deliver material for an hour. I have to like stand there and travel, you know? This dude gets to fuck this dude's winning, man. This VTuber's winning. They just gotta sit on their ass all day. Fucking I'ma tell you one time. I'm going to tell you one time. Or wait, more. It's, it's more so like, I'm going to tell you one time. I'm going to tell you one time. That was me showing my eyes. I'm going to tell you one. Look at my eyes. I'm going to tell you one time. Dude, I wish I could do that. Fuck, man. Again, hats off to you, I guess. But, uh, you know, do do what you want. Do what makes you happy. But, God, is this, like, I really hope that this isn't the future of, like, entertainment. Because I'll be so sad. If you buy tickets to, like, Ray Sremmerd and you show up and it's, like, a screen of, like, anime version of Ray Sremmerd. Of Sway Lee and Slim Jimmy. And you're like, all right, can't wait till the last song when they finally show their eyeballs. And I'm going to lose my shit. fucking crazy man um okay but yeah be on the lookout for my next tour it'll be uh um a v it'll be a v v comic i guess like v comedy or like virtual comedy you go it's like a screen and i'll just play some of my videos and you guys can just like watch them together um i don't know could be fun could be cool easy for me Super easy for me. I just gotta, I just gotta lay back and friggin'. I'm gonna tell you one. T- Hold on, I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna tell you one time. Or wait, no, this will be my thing. It'll be like, um, VTuber. I hardly know her. Come on. <laughs> You're welcome. You just got a rare forehead sighting, dude. Uh, all right, let's wrap it up. That was like 40 some. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out, listening to episode 223 of the podcast. Appreciate you. Um, thank you, everybody, on the Patreon. Thanks, everybody, uh, for watching here. Uh, check out Curtis Connor World. Everything, everything's in the description. Uh, press the like button, comment, subscribe, all that shit. And um, yeah, man, I'll see you guys uh, next week. Appreciate it. See you guys. Baby, baby.